Hey, it's Josephine from The Point Shop, and I'm in Chicago, Illinois right now, and I'm doing a point shoe fitting with Dahlia Winders, Hi. who has gorgeous feet and <laughs> looks like a Disney princess. <laughs> and we're going to give her a little bit more support because Dahlia has these gorgeous feet that kind of fold in half. So she needs a lot of support in order to stay straight up and down rather than fall out of her point shoes. So we're going to take a look at a couple different pairs today. Um, Dahlia, can you stand up for me? So this is the pair that she currently has right now. Uh, can you step up onto point? So if you can see, you can obviously see the first thing you notice is how pretty her feet are. Um, so she gets away with a lot of different point shoes because it looks so good on her. But if you are looking at it from my angle here, she's um, kind of going back and forth. Um, she's going a little bit over too far over so she's not balancing straight up and down so this actually stretches the top of her ankles a little bit too much so it can actually overstretch a lot of tendons and ligaments on the top of your ankles so it's not the healthiest so even though these are really beautiful and this is probably what you like to see on instagram all of the gorgeous gorgeous feet that um, are super bendy like this but it's not always the best so we want to kind of keep her straighter so we're going to look for a shoe that can help her give her a little bit more support come down for me and then can you go into parallel step up onto point uh, and then if you are looking at her foot from the side you can kind of see that the wings on the side of her point shoes are breaking down a little bit low so she is sitting on top of her box and she's spilling out not only towards the front but she's also spilling out on the side now she's just stepping up onto point so you kind of can't tell but when she's actually in class she is not getting enough support on the sides of her of her feet so she is kind of rolling around in her ankles. So the most important thing with feet like Dahlia's is to keep her as safe as possible. Now luckily Dahlia is pretty strong so she's able to support herself pretty well but we want to give her as much chance as possible to stay safe so that she's not rolling her ankles. Okay come down for me. So <clears throat> The point shoes that she's in right now has a pretty small platform and it has a flexible wing on the side. What that means is that the shoe, the side of the shoe, this part right here is called the wings. If this is too low or if it breaks too low, then it's not gonna give her enough support. Some people need this because they can't roll through their point shoes, but Dahlia doesn't have a problem with that. So we're gonna raise the wings a little bit more and we're also gonna make the platform a little bit wider so that she has something to balance on. Okay, go ahead and put these on for me. So it's we're kind of doing a little bit of an opposite um, Thing of what you would think that looks pretty on her feet. So, oh yeah, the song. <laughs> so a lot of people have trouble getting over on their point shoes, so we're trying to push them forward. In Dahlia's case, we're trying to pull her back because she's already so far forward that um, she's really using her ankles to, um, we don't want to overstretch her ankles. So we want to pull her up instead of pull her forward. So um, a harder wing, or a longer wing would help her do that. So when a lot of people will see the difference between these two, you'll notice that she is a little bit more pulled up instead of pushed forward. Um, and that's what we want. Okay, stand up for me, very good. First position. Okay, step up onto point, beautiful. Now, Dahlia looks good in pretty much every shoe that she's ever tried on, but she is now pulled up a little bit more. Uh, we also lowered, um, we lowered the crown a little bit. The crown is the profile of the shoe. And if it's a lower crown, it typically pulls you back a little bit, which I don't like to do with a lot of dancers, but for, for Dahlia's case, we really wanna do that. So this is a lot more supportive. Come down for me and then parallel and then step up onto point. Now she's already worn these a couple times already, but these are fairly new, so you can see that she's very stable and that she can, you can see that she is straight up and down instead of pushing forward. And if you're looking at her foot from the front, it's also covering the bunions, the sides of her foot a little bit better because it has a longer wing. You can't really tell if you're just looking at the point shoe because the fabric comes up so you don't know where the wings break. But if you touch the side of the shoe like this, you can see that the shoe kind of like crumbles right at the wing. So the wings here really only comes up to 
right at the end of that shoe. As opposed to this one, it actually comes up a lot higher in the wings. So if you need a little bit more support and if you find that you're falling forward or either side of your ankles, then you want to get a longer wing or a longer vamp and you want to have a slightly wider platform so that you feel a little bit more supported. Okay, thank you so much for letting me use your beautiful feet. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Dahlia.